Hello to all of my O'Brien Pirates. It is I, your captain, Nord D. Ely, Starbelt Ely, back on our ship again, and today we set sail for driving home. Now listen, people, I just found this game on its.io, but it's been out for a while, and it's actually made by the same person or people, I, I don't know, that made Missing Hiker. I played Missing Hiker maybe like a month, a month and a half ago on my channel. So to my surprise, I was surprised to find out that this game was made by the same exact person or people um, I got the description too I have the description for the game on my phone I take a picture of it so I'm gonna read that off real quick and then we go hop straight into the gameplay people driving home is a short indie horror game where you drive home after working late and you realize you forgot to refuel your car you're stranded on a lonely road inside a big dark forest unfortunately your cell phone isn't working so you need to find someone to help you all right, let's get it going. It was a Thursday, November 16th. I was working late. I drove home. All right, so this me on the road. This me on the road. Just cruising. Cruising that bitch. How y'all doing though? How y'all doing? Like I told y'all, we back to daily uploads. You know, I'm not gonna do no lying to y'all. If I gotta take a break or if I gotta miss a day or something, I'll, I'll always let y'all know in the community tab. But if not, videos every day, people, we, we have a mission. I'm at 170 subscribers the last time I checked. And I, I really wanna, you know, say thank you. I, I would really like to say thank you to everybody who subscribed to my channel. I never tell people to sub to my channel. Um, at the beginning or the end of my videos, I don't even say like because look I want people to do what they want to do You know what I said I want people to do what they want to do So if something inside of you compels you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and tune in to the videos that I make I appreciate that, but I'm an Aquarius I'm, I'm not into telling people to do this or to do that. I want you to be free I want you to decide what you want to do when it comes to you know subbing to my channel and liking my videos and comment of your own free will don't do it because I told you to do it do it because that's what you want to do okay damn that joint beeping okay we, we got to find us a little a little gas station which I knew we had to find this one I feel like I'm driving my car if you know anything about my car her name is Sylvia bruh always 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 driving with a tank on E I'm always driving with a tank. I might as well. Okay, no, that was a car. That was a car. Bruh, I was about to say, I'm, I might as well tell y'all the little story. My little story. So maybe like, do I got a flashlight before I'm just, okay. There we go. Anyways, I tried using my phone, but I didn't get any signal. Okay, long story short. Maybe like two weeks ago at this point, I was driving to work. I decided to follow the road until I find a gas station or something. I was driving to work, people, and my tank was on E. And th this is a usual occurrence for me. It really is. It's a usual occurrence for me. I was driving to work. My tank was on E. I passed a few gas stations before I hit the highway to get to work. But I'm just like, nah, them gas stations is full. I don't feel like waiting behind people. I'll just wait until I get you know to like the area that i work at and then i'm gonna just pull over to the nearest gas station close to my job and then get some gas i've done it plenty of times with my tank on e the exact same way that it was and and everything has always turned out fine not the last time i did it people i think this is a no that's a house that's a house not the last time i did it though people oh i can't even i i gotta go to the house okay but Again, for third time, <laughs> my bad. Not the last time I did it, people. I I got to like I'm I can literally see the gas station in the distance. I saw a house. I decided to go there and ask for help. I literally seen the gas station in the distance. It was a speedway, and lo and behold, my car ran out of fuel. It ran out of gas. I had to pull over to the side of the road, get out. I got I got a um a little like. I don't know what it's called, like like a like a little gas. Th this a little thing you put the gas in. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It got like the little the little nozzle or whatnot, and it's red. I got one of those in my trunk, and it had a little bit of gas in it. So I went to my trunk, you know, grabbed it, went went to the side of my car where where the um where the little the little gas thing is at. 
I'm forgetting what all of this stuff is called. But long story short, I put the little bit of gas in there, tried to start up my car, wouldn't work. So then I had to walk to the gas station, which was literally in walking distance. I could see it. It took me about maybe less than 10 minutes, to be honest with y'all, less than 10 minutes to go get some more gas, walk back to my car, and fill it up. But the thing was, is once I got to the gas station, right, I'm at the gas station, I'm fueling up, and then I get a, like, a random call on my phone. I never answer random calls from my phone, but then they leave me a voicemail, and it's basically some people saying, like, we found your car on the side of the road, so I'm like, okay, let me hurry the hell up and get back to my car before they try to, you know, take it or something. So I get back to my car, I see the police, the police greet me, I greet the police, I'm like, yeah, my car just ran out of gas, I, I, I tell them my whole little spiel about how, you know, I sometimes... I'm driving on E before I get to work and then I just, you know, get gas right before I get to work. I do it all the time. My car has never ran out of gas before. It's been this low before. It's never ran out of gas. It just so happened to have run out of gas this time. So I'm talking to him and whatnot. He, you know, he cool with the situation. Cool police officers. All police officers are not dickheads. But that's neither here nor there. Cool police officer. I get to my car. I, I put the gas in. You know, fuel her up. Fuel Sylvia up. And then... He like, all right, cool, you filled it up, you know, I get in my car, I try to start it. Lo and behold, my car would not start, people, the car would not start, I'm trying to tell y'all, my car would not start. I'm like, damn, you know why I wouldn't start? Because I was driving at nighttime. I work overnights, so by the time I get to work, it's 9 o'clock already. I work from 9 to 9, 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. Anyways, though, I work overtime, not overtime, I work overnight, it was dark out. So, my headlights are on, and once I got out of my car, people, to walk to the goddamn gas station, I forgot to turn my headlights off, so my battery wouldn't start. Luckily, the police officer was still there, he didn't pull off, because he was waiting for me to pull off, just, you know, so I wouldn't hit no other cars or something like that. I'm like, damn, I'm in the car like a minute, minute and a half, trying to start up, it won't start up, I get out, I explain to him the situation, he like, oh, it's cool, we, we, I, you know, I gotta, um... Another police officer in the area, he should have a fuel box. I think that's what it's called, a fuel box or something like that. So he called the other police officer. It take him like close to 10 minutes to get there. He get there, you know, he hooked the little, the little shit up to my car. I start my car up and I'm able to make it to work. But you know what I'm saying? Long story short, people, don't drive with your car on E if you don't have to. Just go get some gas or don't even let your car get down to to that point. Don't let your car get down to the point to where it's telling you you need to get some gas. If you can help it, just get some gas. Fill your car all the way up. I used to do it years ago. I would fill my car all the way up and then once it got to the halfway point of me needing gas, I would go and get some more gas. Like $20 you put into the tank, boom, you right back to all the way, you know, you got some gas. That's all you got to do. Alright, I'm done rambling. Let, let's get into this house. My bad, people. This gameplay, listen, it's supposed to take 10 minutes. Okay, let me knock on the door. Let me knock on the door. I knocked on the door, but no one answered. Um, Alright, let's knock again. I knocked on the door, but no one answered. Okay. Can I do anything with the car? No. Alright, so I'm guessing I'm going around. I'm guessing I'm going around. The back door is open. The back door is open. I saw a back door, which was open. Really weird. I would really rather not go into somebody's house. Like, I thought maybe I could find a telephone and call for help. Um, I, boy, I know y'all heard that. Okay, that shit ain't working. Unfortunately, it didn't work. I got chills. For sure, for sure. And I, I heard more noise. I thought maybe the house could have some fuel in the garage. So I'm just in somebody's house. This is not the garage. The garage door was locked. I need to find the key. Okay. I, like, why am I just in somebody? In somebody's shit? Also, in the comments, um, I know I just did my little story time spiel and all of that, but 
please let me know if y'all want me to tell more stories you know because i've lived life right okay here go key boom i've lived life i can tell y'all stories you know what i'm saying like i, I got some stories i can definitely tell y'all stories if that's what y'all want to hear god damn my heart sank after i opened the garage door okay god damn somebody was in here feasting okay well there's there's the there's the um the fuel i took the fuel tank and decided to leave his fat okay so maybe that's what it's called the fuel tank my bad people i'm about to die i'm about to die I started running to my car like a madman. Okay, I'm barely running. And if you press shift, you slow down on this game. I swear it felt like something was following me. But once I get to the safety of my car, I'll refuel it and then drive away. It don't feel like something is following me right now. It really don't. It, it feel like I'm, I'm cool. Like, I know I'm not cool, but it feel like I'm cool. Like, we, we really just strolling, to be quite honest with you. See, th this is what I'm talking about. This is how my car was, but not really just because it wasn't on. But this is how my car was. It's going to be something in my car. It's going to be something in my car. It's going to be something to hit the window. Something. Something going to happen to me. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even go this way, to be honest with you. If I seen some shit like that, I wouldn't even... I wouldn't continue to go this way. I would turn my car right the fuck back... I got to the other lane because I'm thinking that's going to keep me away from the bullshit that happened at that house. But I wouldn't even go this way. I would I would reverse my car, turn that bitch right the fuck around, and go the way that I came. Did y'all hear that? Bruh, something's going to happen to me. It just happened. Just Why are you whispering to me? I'm not... What the fuck is that? Um... Okay. People, that, that was driving home. Um... You know, a, a cool little game. I'm... If, if my little story time in the middle of the gameplay was somewhat difficult to follow, I'm not, like, I could tell stories, but I'd be feeling like sometimes I'd be rambling, and then i insert information that's not all that con conducive to contributing to the story that I'm telling. So if that was a little too much, my bad. Y'all can, listen, y'all can let me know in the comments. If y'all want stories in my gameplay, y'all can tell me. If y'all would rather I not... You can tell me that too. Anyways, no people look. Like I said, that's gonna do it for me on driving home. It was a cool little game. I will be back tomorrow with another gameplay. And until then, people, peace.